let's have a look then at uh, how the pixel part works. Um, now, because I'm using NeoPixels, I need to run this in sudo. So I'm going to open up idle as a super user. This just saves me having to run the code from the terminal window each time. And here we go, pixel plotter. So make this a bit bigger for you. Brilliant. Okay, so let's have a quick look through the code. Um, a lot of it may be familiar if you've already got a unicorn hat from Pimroni. We set the brightness, rotation, and uh, clear the LEDs to make sure there's nothing there. And this is the orangutan. This is actually blue. And this is just to tell you that the program's ready to go. It then asks you to enter in the name of the file. And then we're using the Python pill library to open up the file, get the height, width of it, and generate a set of RGB values. So if I run this now, What we're looking for now is the file name. So let's do straw for the strawberry. And you can see here it pulls out the values uh, that are used in the strawberry. There's 100 pixels in the picture, it's 10 by 10, 100 LEDs, and that is now transferred and displayed on the board. Okay, so um, the issue I had was that the uh, pixels I'm using are not red, green, blue. They're actually green, red, and blue. So what I've had to do is uh, write a short, while well, um, a, a short loop here to actually pull out the values from here and to swap them around. Um, because obviously, if we take this uh, here, okay, so 139 and 195 should be around the other way. So the red, green, blue are actually green, red, blue on my pixels, which is why I'm pulling out the values here and then putting them back together in the same, uh, so sorry, putting them together in the correct order. Okay, and then I append them back to this new list. So if we come down here, we've got this array here, which is all of the LEDs and uh, NPC zero this is actually the first value that is in the mpc list and if i run it and uncomment that you can actually see it build up so i'm going to do straw So this is it building the list now in the correct order, and then obviously it displays it on the uh, on the LED matrix, LED board. Now, if the image has too many pixels, uh, it checks to see if there's 100 pixels because obviously I've only got 100 LEDs. Um, so if I run this and put in a picture that has more than 100 pixels, then it won't work. And the else statement just covers that. So I've got one called pick. It will still try and pull out all the values. So 14,700, but then it tells me the image is too large. To get the program working, um, I had to test it. And to do this, I created a very simple image, which you won't be able to see on your screen, but I'll try and zoom in, which was just basically red, green, and yellow. And that way I could test that the pixels were going into the correct location. So this is again 10 by 10, zoomed in 2000%. And we're going to run it. 
and this enabled me to obviously test that the, the program was working correctly.